Hello everyone and welcome to Talk of the Town with me, Lynn About Town, here in my town of sunny Clearwater, Florida. And today in studio, I have a very good friend, Bernard Percy. Let me tell you a few things about Bernard because he's a wonderful guy and he's going to tell us so many interesting things and stories and details of what he's been doing all over the world. Bernard is an author. As you see here, this is just a few of the books that he has authored. He's also a renowned speaker all over the world and he's a really great dad. Bernard is here today in studio. He is, by the way, not a clear order guy. He is, and I will absolutely say it right, <clears throat> Brooklyn. He's from Brooklyn. He's a Brooklyn guy. That's right. Did I do good? You did good in Brooklyn, yeah. Brooklyn. Okay. And I'm a Jersey girl, so I know I don't sound quite like that because people think Jersey girls say it differently, but he's a Brooklyn guy and he is here today. So welcome, Bernard. Thank you, Lynn. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. You have been all over the world doing what? Over the past couple of decades, I've traveled over 2 million miles to over 40 countries. And there are three or four areas I really focus my attention on. I'm an educator, that's my heart and soul. If somebody says, what are you, Bernard? What's your professional position? I'm an educator. Yeah, I'm an author, I'm a consultant, I'm also a lecturer, but more than anything else, I'm an educator. Because I have this purpose to really bring people to a whole new awareness and improving the quality of their life. And one of the great things I've done over my life is go across the world and meet so many friends because when they understand the things I have to say based on the research I've done, the people I've known, the quality of their life improves. You know, it's, there's a legacy we all leave in this planet, whatever that is. What is the legacy? Somebody says, Lynn, what's the legacy that you really want to leave? And I know the legacy I want to leave. For, let me give you an example. I'll come back to the question about international travel. So I was a classroom teacher for um, 14 years, 12 in New York City, two in Los Angeles public school. Then they moved on to other things. And you always wonder, what's the legacy that you leave with your students? You know, there's a quote from, um, attributed to different educators, but a teacher affects eternity and never knows when his, his or her influence stops. So you don't know when the influence stops. And uh, I had a student in my class in 1972, Daniel Gibbons. And he wrote me an email about 35 years later. He said, you've always been my favorite teacher. And then he said, I finally figured out why. And when he wrote something, I went, ah, oh, what a beautiful legacy to leave. He said, you didn't tell us what to think. You taught us how to think. See, you leave an impression and a legacy. And we often don't know about it mm. unless somebody does get to communicate with you. Sure. So part of what I've done in traveling around the world is leaving a legacy to help make the quality of life better in terms of family. I'm a real family guy. Okay. You talk about being a dad. I'll never say I'm the best dad in the world. I would never say that, but I know no one better. <laughs> you might be as good as me, but you're not going to be better. And my daughters agreed. They said, Dad, you must write this book about being a dad. Okay. And I've introduced people to concepts and ideas that helped improve the quality of their life in their relationship with their family, which I love. And I love getting those responses years later, you know, and you don't only you put the drop there and all of a sudden, Years later, you find out that drop expanded into an ocean. That's incredible. So this is not something everyone does. No. You have traveled over 2 million miles to 40 countries. What were these travels all about? I'm sure it wasn't just one thing, because we know you're an educator. We know you're an author. We know you're a consultant. What was this all about? There are probably three areas I was focusing on. There's an organization called Applied Scholastics that deals with improving the quality of education around the world. And I was on their advisory board and I spoke at a lot of their conferences and so on. And I'd be invited to different facilities or organizations around the globe that are connected with Applied Scholastics to talk about education, to talk about families and parenting, and then to talk about something, a program I developed to help handle one of the biggest ruins, one of the biggest problems everywhere I travel. What do I really want to do with my life that's the right thing for my career or education path? It is such a major ruin mm. everywhere you go. I mean, every country, so many people who go to college and they major in a subject, a huge percentage are not doing what they went to school for. Mm. And they don't know what to do and they don't figure out, how, how do you figure out what's the right thing to do? Yeah. And they take a guess, they go, 
Like put the finger yeah. in the air and yeah. go, which way is the wind blowing? Oh, maybe that's the right yeah. thing. What's the trend? Yeah, Winston Churchill has a great line. He says, America will always do the right thing after having exhausted all the possibilities. <laughs> And that's what uh, happens to so many people trying Korea as well, do this, and they settle in for what they're doing, and but they don't have that joy, that sense of responsibility that they love, and, and that self-respect we all seek. And when you're doing something that you know is not the right thing for you, yeah. okay? And so I developed a program called the Foundations of Brilliance that helps people figure out what's the right path to take. The Foundations of Brilliance. Because everybody has areas of brilliance. Everybody does, but how do you look, look at it? Mm. What do you major in in college? How do you think you major? I originally started the program because I'm an educator and that's my heart and soul. And I looked at kids graduating from high school who don't know what they want to do. What should they yeah. major in? What should they do? Yeah. And they have no idea or they, they're guessing, you know, they, well, I'll maybe do this. So I developed this program and I called up their parents when I was piloting the program. So I'm developing a program. I'd like to use, work with your son or daughter to help them figure out what they really want to study, what they really want to do with their life. And I'm not exaggerating when I said every single parent I spoke to, and they weren't, they were like in the, in the, t the teens, right? Yeah. 15, 20, yeah. said, I need this. When I went to college, I had no idea what I wanted to major in, okay? And when I found out th this concept that talent, inherent personality, and basic purpose go together as a package, as a package of all three things. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, uh, everybody is looking for purpose. What's my statement of purpose? What's the direction I want to go in? Mm -hmm. Something like 170, 180,000 books have been written on purpose. Mm -hmm. All right, but that's only one of the three things to know. Second, people say, do what you love to do, personality, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, never, you'll never work a day in your life. Well, I love to sing, and I'll never work a day in my life. <laughs> Because I don't have that. You're third sure not going to get paid a day. Because I don't have that third component, the talent. So it's a talent, your personality, and the purpose, the reason for why you do things. And I had no idea how to think to find my career path. Ah. You know, I said, well, at first I became a Russian major. I have no idea why. I didn't know. I'll try Russian. Then I tried psychology, and I that's realized, a hard language, by the way. Yes, like, and I knew it wasn't for me, and I wasn't a very good student of languages, to be honest. Then I tried psychology and I felt, no, that's not the right thing. So I'm to, what am I gonna do? I, I really didn't know I'd become a plumber. Or maybe I'd become a radio DJ. I just didn't know how to think with it. Yeah. But I realized something. Hmm. So personalities, your attitude, your interests, behavioral patterns, the lifestyle you wanna lead. So well, maybe I can become a teacher. Oh, I don't know anything about my talents or anything about a purpose that aligned to that. But the lifestyle, wait, I can have summer vacations, get out of Christmas and Easter, I, I don't have to be a billionaire. I gotta give me a good salary. I can lead a comfortable life. And I love working with kids. Okay, so I had the personality. But luckily for me, one, I found I did have the talent. And secondly, there was a purpose that really drove and inspired me mm. and impelled me. And mm. I found those things later.